it's obviously a wonderful recognition, uh, the, the opportunity to uh, participate in this event and, and, and the impact that it has uh, to be uh, receiving this award is, is uh, very obvious and clear and I think I'm, I'm very proud and, and humbled by the, by the um, selection, by being selected by the committee that, that uh, nominated me and, the, and that made the selection of, of identifying me as a, as a candidate for, to represent North America. We are privileged to be working with a very talented and qualified and smart student and, and they are usually asking the right questions and, and some of those questions have to do with animal welfare and I, I take advantage of that in the development of my research program. We also expose the students in, in an academic setting to the, 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 the scientific aspects of, of animal welfare. Yeah, there's a scientific component and there's also that social or ethical component and there you go. That is the safest way to, to hold them in place so that they don't control the situation you do. My driving force is to expose the veterinary community to, to the, the modern scientific discipline of animal welfare to um, not so much move away because I think we have already moved away from the concept of the veterinarian's role being limited to restoring health but to continue pushing that, that interest uh, further and try to not only just meet the needs but, but actually go beyond and, and offer animals opportunities for them to uh, explore their environment, to engage with their environment. And I think definitely especially at Western a lot of people are very concerned about welfare both in food animals and in research um, but we understand the necessity of that but uh, I think we all want to contribute to, you know, helping animals feel comfortable when they're going through these things. Quite cool that one of your uh, senior people has been recognized as one of the vets in the world. Yeah, that's, uh, absolutely, absolutely. I think we all already knew that, but uh, it's good that he's getting the recognition that he deserves. As veterinarians, we need to keep an eye on the quality of life of companion animals as much as, as we do of other species. Uh, anything from obesity problems, um, animals that um, are uh, isolated, that spend the day by themselves with, with no contact with uh, human or other animals. I have done work with therapy dogs uh, in, in research particularly. This is an area that, that I have explored in a collaboration with a, a, a child psychologist who uses animals in, in his practice. Well, there's no question that the exposure that this type of awards gives you is, is beneficial. That external recognition basically provides opportunities to disseminate this information to have a broader impact worldwide.